we got one done. So I'll do the second one uh, after, but we'll get on to the inner mitten. And it's really the exact same, except we're going to sew it right side out. When I traced out my pattern for my wool, I, you know, had that swoop. But as I said earlier, we're going to snip that off. So I'm literally just going to take this little corner and snip that just a little bit off. I'm going to do that on all three pieces. Just a tiny little bit. Okay. And that's just going to tighten up the cuff a little bit. This time, we're going to be looking at the inside of the palm and the good side or non-marker side outside of the thumb. We're going to line it up and again we're going to have to do a little bit of trimming. So we're going thumbs down, palm up. We're lining up this triangle or this side of the triangle with this edge of our pattern piece. Okay, so that now they are the same length. You kind of trim off that little whoop. And we're going to start sewing. Grab a piece of your yarn. I'll show you a little secret to threading the needle, the darning needle. Grab an arm length of yarn and then twist it in the direction that it's already being twisted. Twist it up, twist it, and then pinch that very, very tip of the yarn. And then you're just going to smash the needle into it. And Try and pull that through. Woot woot. Okay, and then instead of doing that fancy knot from here, we're going to take our long end and we're just going to twist it on itself four or five times. And then we've got that little loop with our finger and we're just going to pass that through the tail through that loop and pull and there we've got our stopper knot the same thing only you just start it at the bottom you could do that with the sinew too but it's easy to slide it down okay so we're going to hide the knot this time we're going to peel back that corner and hide it on the inside of the palm. And then we'll place that thumb piece on top. I'm gonna flip this around. Okay, so we've come down through the palm piece and then we've come around and we're gonna go down through the thumb and the palm to join the two together. Okay, and then we're just gonna work our way into this corner double it up and then we'll spin spin the thumb. You have to be a little bit more gentle with the yarn. It's not as strong but we found that it's strong enough. Just give it a tight or a light tug. Okay, I'm in the corner now. Double it up. And then we're going to spin the thumb. Get that corner. Double it up there. I'm going to keep going. 
just like the hide mitt. Open whip stitch, light tugs, follow the curve of the thumb, and I get my clips. Away I go. If your yarn ever gets bunched up, just don't keep pulling, just pull back and it'll untwist itself. As you're going along, your short end is going to become closer to your long end. So just make sure that you shorten that short end so then you are still only sewing with one strand. Okay, so I've gone around, do, 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 do. down, double it up, come on back, three times through. Loop de loo. Snip it off. And we got a 3D mitt going on. Okay, grab my vamp. So I'm going to have my outside of my mitt facing the palm. And this swoopy bit towards the thumb. I've got a new thread. Hid the knot inside the mitt at the tick. Line up my two ticks at my vamp and I'm going to go down through the outside and join the two. Okay, and then I'm going to just whip stitch all the way, exact same thing. When I get to this thumb joining piece, I'm going to double it up here and here. Head on down to the end. Double it up, head back, three times through, and then loop de loo and, and then I'm going to start on the other side. Let's do this. Okay, so I went from the top all the way down. Double it up, double it up, head on down. Double it up, head back up, three times through, and the loop de loo snipped it off, and more than halfway there. So, I'm going to start a new thread, hide the knot, head on all the way down, two times around, back up, three times through, and the loop de loo Simple! Alright, good work guys. Okay, so here we go. We got a mitten. Go around, double it up, and all the way back up. Three times through in the loop de loo We're just about finished. We're going to do a little bit of decoration around the cuff here. Um, it will eventually over time fray, so it's a good idea to do this. So we're going to do the blanket stitch. Just hide our knot. And I could probably, I'll trim that after. It's the same whip stitch. We're going down and around, down and around, over this open edge. Except, before you pull tight, we've been avoiding going through this loop the whole time, but now we're going to pass it through once. So I'll just do a couple and then you'll see the effect go through the loop. And I like to do it kind of at the beginning, so I just throw the whole thread over. Ok, 
Okay, so then you're going to go all the way around, and then you're going to get this nice top edge here covered in uh, yarn. So we're just going to go all the way around, and then when we get to this side, we're going to go three times through in the loop-de-loo, snip it off, and that's it for the inner mitten. And there we go. Intermittent done, and that blanket stitch kind of tightens up the cuff a little bit, so that's nice. And we've got our leather mitten to go on top. And the last step, oh, hello, Lenny, is to add our decorative ribbon. And it's nice to do with the sewing machine. Um, if you are a size 2 or smaller, it's going to be really hard to do on the sewing machine because um, if your arm is not big enough to fit your um, uh, mitten through. So you'll want to do it by hand. And what you're going to do is lay it along the edge. Make sure you tuck the edge of the ribbon under. I like to start at the palm so that when you wrap around